Hey everyone, I got this uh, Chinese diesel heater in here and I am going to be installing an external temperature sensor. The one that comes with it, you can see it, it's on that little hole. Um, I'm going to be installing this uh, thermocouple uh, therm temperature sensor. It's about 10 feet long, 3 meters, 9.8 feet. And the reason I'm doing that is because this uh, unit sits outside of my truck and then the hose goes up to the rooftop tent or the tent that's up above. So this temperature that is reading, it's from outside. So it's always super cold. So this unit never turns off and the heat just continually keeps on pumping into our rooftop tent. And it gets really hot in there. So to turn it off, I have to walk outside and turn it off. And so anyways, I wanted to be able to temperature control it. So I got this external uh, temperature sensor and I'm going to be installing it into this. So it'll come out out of that little hole right there that's already in there. Now, I took this apart and I broke it because I did not know how to remove it. I just took a little screwdriver in the little crack in the middle and pried it apart so the studs broke. So when I took it apart, this is the back of it, the little corner studs, I broke it. And then I took this off and then the studs on the inside broke. So if you need to take this apart for future reference, it does have screws in the front part of the screen. So this is the screen, and then this is the front of it. So basically you have to take off this film part, and then you'll be able to access the screws from there, and then you can glue this back into it. But I didn't know that, so now I'm just gonna super glue all of it together once I'm done. So I'm going to take Let's see, these two end pieces, I'm going to take this off and just expose the wire and I'm just going to solder it in place of these two. So I'll solder those two and run it outside and then I will test it and see if it works. Okay, I soldered two of the wires in here, so I put a little bit of solder on both sides. Um, so this right here is replacing, this will replace this little thing right here. We'll see if it works. Let me test it out. I'm going to plug this in, turn it on, and we'll see. Okay, so I have the original uh, temperature sensor hooked up. When I click it, the OK button, the first number is the temperature in the room. Next one is a set temperature. So what I will do is remove this one and plug in this temperature sensor, see if it works. Okay, so I plugged in this temperature sensor right there that I got from Amazon and it does not read, it just goes straight to 50 Celsius and does not change even if I flip the cords around. So this temperature sensor is not gonna be compatible with this unit. Okay, so I figured out why it's not working. This is a thermocouple. This is a thermistor. Uh, so if you wanna buy a replacement for it, you need to get a thermistor, not a thermocouple. Now what I'm doing, I have an Arduino kit, a bunch of wires, extra accessories. So I have, I have these two wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna solder these, which I already did. And then at the end, I'm gonna hook up two more cords, run them, I don't know, it's about 10 feet. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna plug this guy in and see if that works. Okay, I got it all hooked up. I solder these two wires, spliced it right here. And then this wire is about 12 feet long. So at the end of it, I connected the thermo sister and it's reading at 12 feet apart from the actual unit. It's reading 13 Celsius, which is about 55 degrees, which is about right. I'm here on the basement slash workshop. Uh, up here on the second floor is my garage. So it's pretty cold in here in Flagstaff. It's, uh, well, it's supposed to be a high of 60 something today, but in here is 55, 13 Celsius. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. 
this is the on button and I'm gonna let it cycle and I'm gonna do some testing see if it turns off after it heats up in here now this unit is not going to be able to heat up this is about 550 square feet uh, about 10 feet high ceilings uh, so this is meant for my tent for my vehicle so uh, this will not heat up this place that good <laughs> but I'm just gonna go do some testing make sure the uh, temperature sensor works I'm gonna bring it close to it and see if this turns off or slows down after it cycles through so I'll let it start up right now the glow glow plug is on it's heating up it's starting so we'll be back in a second okay so it's cycling right now the glow plug is off it's been I've had this on for like an hour 41 minutes of testing but glow plug is off pump is pumping it's a full blast it's trying to heat up so it's going, that's good. Uh, so, it's nice and warm. So let's see, room temperature is still 13 because it's way over there. That's about six, seven feet away. Uh, the set temperature is 35 and then it's supposed to cycle drying about 10.9 volts no errors we're good so that's the temperature now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this I'm gonna bring it over here and all I'm going to do is put my fingers up on it and it's starting to heat up do is I'm just gonna put it right in front of the heat let it warm up that way it'll turn off so at 35 it's supposed to start cycling down so there the max that this will read is 50 Celsius so I'll leave it there it's warm this is supposed to start slowing down and it is I don't know if you can hear the fan is slowing down. Which means that it's not gonna put out as much heat because it thinks that it's already warm in here. So I'll remove it from there. Bring it back here. Once it starts cooling down, it should speed up again. I wish it'll it would tell you the speed of the fan. That would be nice. See, it's cooling down now. But this works. So. This usually goes on the outside of the truck by underneath it. And then I'll just run this with the hose to go up into the tent on the top. And it should slow down and keep it a nice temperature in there, which is nice. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put this back together. Um, on the bottom of here, I just, uh, Come focus. Come on, focus. Okay, so I just cut a little bigger hole for the new wires to come out of it. So I'm just gonna use some uh, Gorilla Glue on the studs right here, both of them, and stick it back together and hopefully it will stay. 